Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest coins anywhere, check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing, what, what, wobbing, what, what, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing, what, what. So we've got the season five reveals to go over. I'm hoping these are good. I do want to give a shout out to John Thompson for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want the chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel. Turn notification bell on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, guys, the NFL season is over, but if you guys have not already checked out Underdog Fantasy, there's still a ton to do. NBA, NHL, MLB is coming up. A ton of stuff. If you guys sign up right now using code ZERK, they will double your first deposit up to $100. And follow me over on Twitter for my picks, and you guys will get a 0.5 points Jokic special for tonight. Which, by the way, Underdog's been running a ton of specials pretty much almost every single day, as you guys can see with this Draymond Green special that was available until 7 p.m. Eastern Time. If you're wondering why is it fouls, Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole is uh, who he's facing off against today, so Underdog made a little funny special there. We'll take it. All right, guys. So we definitely have a lot to talk about here with the Season 5 reveals. Keep in mind, Season 5 guys should be dropping tomorrow morning. I do believe that Season 5 here, uh, we will be getting it at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, I do believe. So at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, Season 5 should be dropping. Weekly wild cards, that is going to be dropping in the afternoon. As for the NFL Combine Release 1, that is going to be on Thursday afternoon. That reveal is going to be t on uh, Thursday morning. So Thursday morning at 10.30, we will get the reveal for the NFL Combine Release 1. Friday morning, we are going to get the reveal for the Competitive Field Pass, the NFL Combine Release 2, and Ultimate Legends. The NFL Combine Release 2 and Ultimate Legends, those are going to be dropping on Saturday. So tomorrow, we have Weekly Wild Cards, we have Season 5, Thursday, we have NFL Combine release one in the afternoon. Competitive field pass, we have that Friday morning. Uh, NFL Combine release two in ULs. Those are going to be on Saturday. As for some other updates, offensive AP, guys, that's going to go up from eight to nine in season five. Defensive AP staying the same. And the Colossus light up X Factor, which if you guys have been playing Mutt uh, head to head, a lot of people know that X Factor is pretty OP. That is now going to cost one AP instead of zero. I still think that's worth it, to be honest. Unlike the George Karloftis, definitely think it is. Uh, also, AK Cruise items, they will no longer receive Super Bowl Team Chem moving forward, which was a big thing, actually. I feel like it's not a bad thing at all that they are going to be doing that because the Super Bowl theme team, I mean, that is still like the best theme team in the game. So, uh, was going to be way too OP if they kept that going, but let's get into weekly wild cards. Starting off, we have Harrison Bryant, 86 overall, 87 speed. You guys see the route running, 76 catching traffic, 86 strength on him. Pat O'Connor with 84 speed, 90 XL, 86 block, shit, 86 finesse move. We have Carter Warren with 87 strength, 87 pass block, 83 run blocking on him. Uh, we have Hunter Loop with 86 speed. I think it's Hunter, Hunter Loop. I believe. Honestly, as a Cowboys fan, this guy, he barely played. And the most memorable thing that he did this entire season was fumble versus the Dolphins. That's what I remember of this card. So this player, 76 run block, 85 impact block. Uh, we have Jamie and Sherwood with 88 speed, 92 acceleration on him. Terrible block shed. Ronald Darby, 90 speed, 91 excel, 89 man, 87 zone, 85 press. We have Giovanni Ricky with 90 speed, 73 run block, 92 carrying, 90 overall. Graham Gano, 91 kick power, 87 kick accuracy. We have Kyler Gordon with 92 speed, 93 excel, 94 agility, 92 zone, 84 man. We have Robert Woods with 93 speed, 93 catch and traffic, 91, 89, and 94 the routes, 93 overall. Casey Tuhill, 91 speed, 96 excel, 95 block shed, 91 finesse move, and then all. All pro left guard Tyler Smith, 96 strength, 92 pass block, 92 run block. Uh, getting into the 96s, Trey McBride, 95 speed, 93 catch traffic, 96 and 95 for the route running, and 68 run block. Good looking card. We have Melvin Ingram, reach elite for zero AP, 95 speed, 96 excel, 96 block shed, 95 finesse move. Very good looking card as well. Uh, Andrew Wiley, 94 strength, 95 pass block, 96 run block. Just a lineman, but solid card. And then finally, Logan Cook with 96 kick power and 90 kick accuracy, followed by the LTD. Byron Young, 96 speed, 95 block shit, 96 power move, 95 excel, and 91 strength. So that's it for weekly wild cards. By the way, you'll notice there is no Nike, 96 overall. 
I don't know, I guess it's like every other week, maybe we're getting the Nike player. Getting into Season 5. These are the Season 5 rewards, guys. Now, the three players I'm about to show you, we can get all three of these players. It's not like Season 4, uh, as long as I didn't hear this correctly. It's not like Season 4, we had to choose between the Chris Jones, the Ty Law, and the Joe Montana. We get all three of these cards for free at 97 overall, which is cool, but you do have to wait until level 50 to get it. Starting off, Pat Pete, 97 speed, 96 excel, 96 agility, 97 man, 97 zone, 94 press. I do also want to say, I'm just not a fan of EA doing this constantly this year. I'm not sure what it is, but players getting upgrades immediately after getting an upgrade just recently. Patrick Peterson, I believe it was just a couple days ago, actually, got the weekly wild card, right? Am I correct by saying that? Got the weekly wild card, 95 overall. So... Yeah, I, I just don't understand EA. Like, I understand that, yes, it's going to take a while for us to get to this Patrick Peterson, right? It's going to take us probably like a month to get to level 50. But why not give it to somebody else who needs an upgrade? There are so many players out there that could have possibly got this card. I don't know, Trayvon Diggs, who's been injured all year and doesn't have a single upgrade. Uh, that would have been better than another Patrick Peterson. But this card is good. I like Pat P cards. He also does get deep out zone KO for zero AP. So... Make no mistake about it, this is an incredible card, and definitely a card I would be looking to pick up on my team. We also getting Keyshawn Johnson, again at level 50. Uh, you do get these cards actually at an earlier time, and you'll see that in the field pass rewards though. Keyshawn Johnson, 95 speed, 90, 92, and 88 for the routes, 96 catching traffic. I'm just not a big fan of this card, that's for sure. And then TJ Watt, 95 speed, 94 excel, 97 block shit, 96 finesse move, 81 strength, gets reach elite for 0 AP, and then lurk artist for 1. So it doesn't really get great pass rush abilities, but you do get a good outside linebacker for free. Keyshawn, meh. And then Patrick Peterson, I like that card. So I'm perfectly fine with the Pat Pete. Keyshawn, probably be like wide receiver 5 for me, and TJ Watt, maybe maybe we'll get some run probably probably not to be honest uh andrew whitworth i believe level 43 is when we get this card guys 97 overall so that's four free 97s and this is a really good one this honestly maybe the best one i feel like most people are gonna be excited about because this is an end game left tackle who gets identifier for zero ap that's awesome 98 pass block 99 run block and 97 strength very good card right there. I like that. And then the welcome pack player that we upgraded with tokens throughout the entire season is Derek Henry. 98 speed, 98 excel, 95 change of direction, 96 truck, 94 break tackle, 97 agility. Uh, Derek Henry, if I do recall correctly, is on the team of the year nominees list. So yeah, did Derek Henry not win team of the year or is he going to get a team of the year and then get this card too? To be determined, we will find that out next week. But Derrick Henry right here, uh, really good looking card. And again, this is free. So that is right there, uh, four free 97s and then a free 98 overall Derrick Henry. That is not it though. As you guys can see the season five field pass, you can see everything we get. You get a 93 overall Pat Pete to level four. At level 50, you do get the season five upgrade tokens though. Uh, you do get a rare option pack there at level five. Not exactly sure what the rare option packs are. Uh, you can see you get the Season 5 uniforms. You get the Season 5 set token as well. The Patrick Peterson upgrade. You get TJ Watt 96 overall at level 34. Uh, you get Derrick Henry upgrade tokens. Random strategy items. At the end, you get a legendary option pack. And a legendary strategy item fantasy pack as well. Again, I don't really know what the option pack is. I don't think they actually talked about that on the stream. In terms of those Season 5 set tokens, yeah, it's just like Season 4 where we had that one big set that you could do which a majority of people will save their tokens for. Uh, you can see right here, we got a set token at level 6. We got one at level 14. We also got one here at level 26. So that would be 3. One at 36, that is 4. Uh, looks like you do good in total. Just It looks like 4 of those in general. So you can exchange 1 for your choice of 1 of 20 93 overall BNDs. You can exchange 2 for 1 of 20 94s. You can exchange 3 for 1 of 10 95s. Or you can exchange all four for one at 10, 97 overall BND. So that is four free 97s that you get. The Andrew Whitworth, the TJ Watt, the Patrick Peterson, and the Keyshawn Johnson. You get a free 98 Derrick Henry. And then you also get a free 97 overall from this pack. So that is six free 97 pluses. I actually think that's pretty good. To be completely honest, that is pretty good. And as you guys can see right here as well, we do have some kind of leaks here uh, for the live events. We have Team of the Year, which can be coming out next week. Sugar Rush promo, that'll be out in a couple of weeks. And then the Ring of Honor promo is actually returning 
from Madden 23, which I thought was actually a really good promo. Definitely was a pretty good promo. And that's the Season 5 stuff. We also do have this right here for the Combine promo, a little teaser with the Combine promo. So with that being said, guys, that is everything. Let me know down below what you guys think about the Season 5 rewards. I feel like the amount of free stuff we're getting is good, but I'm just not a fan of getting the Andrew Whitworth, who just got a Super Bowl card, Patrick Peterson, who just got an upgrade, Derrick Henry, who's part of the Team of the Year nominees. Like, I just don't necessarily like that. I do think overall the amount of free stuff that we're getting is good. But yes, it's going to take a while to get to those cards. I do think Patrick Peterson will still be most certainly a viable option there at cornerback once you get him fully upgraded. Andrew Whitworth is an endgame left tackle. Like, everybody's going to be using that card to left tackle. Derrick Henry, definitely a very, very good running back. And then also we have that free 97 overall B&D set, which, yes, again, is going to take a while to get to. Not sure what player is going to be available in that. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Let me know what you guys think about everything. I will catch you guys in the morning, though, when Season 5 does drop in the game. We'll take a look at the objectives, all that good stuff there. And then weekly wildcards tomorrow afternoon. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.